Hey everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here, and welcome to my next video. This one's going to be a little bit unusual. Uh, I have a tournament coming up at the very beginning of October, which some of you are aware of. It inspired this video, which was a mistake in the terms of the fact that back when I started this tournament, it was going to be, I think, in March or April. Then obviously COVID happened and it got bumped back. We're a very lucky situation in New Zealand where it can go ahead and it's happening at the beginning of October. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the N4 release schedule and Star Marder, you will know that the N4 rules don't get released until the 25th of September, which is obviously in a couple of weeks' time which does not give me a lot of time between the rules dropping and then a tournament that is actually going to be using those rules. And I also intend to hopefully take one or two models that are in the Star Marder box set. Hopefully that arrives on time. So because of that, I've got to manage my time. I've got to obviously focus on learning M4 and getting prepped for the tournament. So unfortunately, I'm going to be a bit light on videos for the next couple of weeks. But don't worry, when the tournament is done, I'll not only do a summary of how the tournament went, but then I'll be back in full force, probably focusing more on battle reports uh, now so that we can learn how to play N4 and things like that. And also obviously how to play M4s and things like that. I've also got a double commitment because I obviously had... Uh, quite a bit of terrain sent to me from Brutal Cities. Uh, there's a link to the video that reviews that if you haven't seen that already. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity for a whole bunch of other people to see the Brutal Cities terrain and try and commit to supplying a table for the tournament. And that means I've got to get it all painted <laughs> before the tournament. So as you can kind of see, I've committed to a lot. And unfortunately, the thing that is going to have to take a little bit of a backseat in terms of the priorities is just producing content. So this video is going to be slightly different in that obviously it's a bit of an update for you guys to just go, hey, look, if you don't see anything from me for the next couple of weeks, don't worry. I'm going to be back, but I'm just going to be focusing on the tournament for a little bit longer. And what I'm going to do a bit differently this time is in the meantime, while I don't have anything major to show you because of these all, all of these other commitments, is I'm going to actually highlight a few other people who are doing excellent things that you might want to take a look at. And what I'm going to focus on this time is Instagrammers. So these are people who do very great jobs at painting miniatures and then taking excellent photos of them and posting them on Instagram. Now, some of them have YouTube channels as well. So if you don't have Instagram, don't worry, because a good few of these have YouTube channels where they then showcase their work and even show you how to get the same effects. So what I'm going to do in this video is highlight a few of those people and encourage you to follow them if you're interested in seeing how excellent painters do their thing. Now, if I've missed anybody, please feel free to jump in the comments and tell me of someone who I should be checking out. Now, it's if I haven't featured them, it's probably because I don't know about them. And I would be very grateful if someone could point me in their direction because I love seeing people's great painted miniatures on Instagram. So drop them in the comments and obviously check out the comments for some other great suggestions here. So let's get into this. Who are some great Instagrammers that you should be following? Well, Angel Heraldes. So he is an epic painter and I'm starting pretty strong here. Um, not because the rest are any weaker, but because I want, if you take nothing from this video, just follow Angel. So he is one of the biggest names in miniature painting that I know of and that loads of people know about. He's got a great YouTube channel as well, which shows tutorials on how to uh, paint, how to use airbrush. He does a lot of Corvus Bellies showcase stuff, or at least he used to. Um, and so there's a lot of Infinity models on there. He has books explaining how to paint good, and so feel free to, I think he's got two out now. One of them was kind of like a, a bit more of a like intro, here's how you do it well. And then this one's a bit more of a, the second one I think is more of a masterclass. So kind of building on the previous ones. He is excellent. So he does partner with CB for with the Vallejo paints, the painter kits that you can get. So obviously there's the O12 ones, there's the combined army. There's a whole bunch of them out there where you can buy them to get the colors that enable you to paint kind of like the halo color schemes that you see on all the boxes, which Angel would have painted most of the time. And so it's actually got a guide from Angel and it's Vallejo paints, how you can do the actual color schemes that Corvus Belli use in their marketing. So if you want exactly what you see on the boxes, then that is definitely the best way to go about it. He, if you follow him on Instagram, his stories feature his pet rabbit a lot. So, you know, if you like infinity miniature painting and also rabbits, then his is definitely the channel for you to follow. Yeah, Angel is excellent. He does some excellent uh, kind of OSL object source lighting uh, tutorials, also non-metallic metals, so NMM. He does lots of tutorials on how to get those perfect looks. So definitely worth a follow if you want to up your painting game and for, yeah, buying some of his 
books is definitely going to be a shortcut to that or following his YouTube channel. So I've got a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. So another one worth following is a, a Instagrammer called Feral Painter. Uh, Martin is a silver medal winner at the Monte San Serino show. He has some great light study pieces and is actually fantastic for kind of looking at how light does play on a model. So this is excellent for kind of like your your showcase models. I mean, obviously there's like tabletop ready level stuff, which there's gonna be a couple of people here that I'm gonna highlight who do great tabletop ready stuff and maybe it's a bit simpler. But then there's a couple of other people who are just excellent. And, and Martin's definitely one with um, OSL is particularly draw dropping stuff. You know, this is definitely great for if you want to just understand how light can play slightly differently on a model. Martin's so good that even Angel has dropped in his comments to praise the OSL that he's done. So you know it is good. So that's definitely a good step. After Angel Heraldes, uh, check out Feral Painter, really good. Definitely one to watch um, and to follow on Instagram. And kind of at a similar level to that is Steven Garcia, who goes by Tokatha, Tokatha, I think, on Instagram. It, it, they are a uh, Crystal Brush and War Crow winner from the US. Uh, also won gold and bronze at the Iron Skull in England and gold at Reapercon. So multi-award winning painter. You know they're going to be good when they have that. So basically an epic mini painter. A lot of great Infinity content and a massive inspiration just in terms of the level of or the caliber that this person is painting at. It's just insane. Dicey Studio is absolutely epic. This is absolutely a must. Like, I think Angel, if you don't follow him already, is definitely a must, a must follow because it's great entertainment anyway. And then I actually really like Dicey Studio as kind of my second best pick, actually. Like, the others are excellent. I do appreciate them, obviously, but I just... The Dicey Studio paintwork, I don't know what it is about it, but I really like it. There's lots and lots of Infinity Minis as well, so you won't be disappointed if you're basically just on Instagram, just you don't want to see a lot of the GW stuff. Uh, Dicey Studio are definitely one to follow. They've got some great alternative schemes here as well. So again, great for some inspiration if you want to, you know, you want one of the main factions, but you don't want to paint it the same as everyone else has. I love all of their stuff, all of their stuff, and definitely worth a follow. So yeah, definitely check out Dicey Studio. Uh, then as kind of like, a, you know, up and coming painters who are definitely ones to watch. There's quite a few. So Gunpla Heresy, that is... I, honestly, great, great individual to follow. Really enjoy it. Uh, Paul is a real talent here. Lots of Infinity Minis, and I am especially jealous of his O12 paint schemes. Like they are just insanely good. Like really, really good. Uh, so obviously gets a nod, uh, gets a tip from me just for mainly being an O12 painter. Gotta love that. Uh, lots of people try and do the scheme on the box. Um, you know, like the hero color schemes, but Paul actually does it very well. So like uh, the Zeodron Batroid is an absolute favorite of mine. And my combined army bases are actually the same blue. So <laughs> probably because I think that's actually the blue that's on the, the main color scheme. But yeah, that Zeodron Batroid, check it out from uh, Gunplay Heresy, absolutely great follow. Uh, then there's Tabletop Painter, really good. Yeah, huge fan, uh, definitely, well definitely well worth a look. Uh, again, good follow posts pretty frequently. The quality of the paintwork is excellent. Uh, definitely good good to get. And again, more on that tabletop ready standard that we spoke about a little bit. The other one that I want to highlight, and again, this isn't an exhaustive list, but these are just some of my, my top ones, is Evo painting. So Emerson, Panaman Evo, I believe that's it. Again, one of my favorites for kind of like, just yeah, tabletop, like you'd expect to see those on the table and still be wowed at how amazing they are and want to pick them up and then realize, nope, they've deployed and you probably shouldn't be picking up their deployed models. But excellent. So really interesting color schemes here. Almost always alternative, just color combos that I would never have picked, but yet somehow throwing them together, they just look amazing. The color palette is really different and well worth a follow. Again, not, not just see alternative color schemes, but also maybe like a different flavor to how you can do the paints on Infinity Miniatures without necessarily following the script. So that is the main crux of this video. Uh, give those people, a, you know, check them out on Instagram if you are on Instagram. Uh, some of them are on YouTube. If they've got YouTube channels, um, I've also listed those below in the description for this video. Again, apologies for the fact that I'm going to be a little bit quiet over the next couple of weeks. Uh, it is purely down to this tournament. It's my first ever tournament, as you would have known if you'd have seen that earlier video of mine. I'm pretty nervous about it. Um, I do want to be doing some content about 
my list, my preparation work. But to be honest, I think when you're facing your first ever tournament, you're just nervous and I don't want to come last. And so I'm trying to put a little bit of effort into semi learning some N4 rules, you know, the bits that Corvus Belli are releasing, uh, but also just getting myself prepped by just knowing my models, my strategies, what I'm likely to do. Um, I am going 012. That's no real secret. It's the only army I've had loads of practice playing. I've played some combined in code one and it was just a bit too complicated for me whereas at least with 012 i know it a bit better i know what it should do and shouldn't do um i when the n4 rules drop i'm actually away for my birthday um that weekend so i am not going to be able to read them during the weekend so i say that they launch on like the 25th and then the tournament is that first weekend in october i'm actually in real terms only got about four days to learn all of the rules that I can. I am really lucky that I've got a good group of Infinity players here who will kind of like do their best to pass on some information. But ultimately, I am going to be pretty um, lacking in knowledge going into this tournament anyway. So I'm pretty nervous. It's probably not going to be my best showing, but it's all a learning curve and it's all an experience. So that'll be good fun. And yeah, I'm also nervous that the Starmada box isn't going to arrive in time for me to actually run the models, which is that's probably the thing I'm most nervous about is not having the models because if I want to take, I think I want to take the law bringer, the law keeper, the, the new O12 bike, and I don't have anything that's an S4 profile to proxy it. So I need it. I'm kind of apologetic to you guys that this is not as good a video as I typically go for um, or try to, but I'm going to make up for that when I come back from the tournament and do more battle reports in that new format, which hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you've had a look at it. And yeah, basically, I'm going to do better in the future, I promise. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Give those, give everyone a check out on Instagram. Um, have a look at them. Uh, let me know what you think. And if I've missed anyone, drop that in the comments. And I will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Catch ya.